Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing the first bicycle deck. Uh, that's a, fu it's a funny name. It's not actually, it might not actually be what it's called, but this is a deck of cards as a collaboration between Chris Ramsey and the first playing card uh, brand and of course bicycle brand. Uh, if you clicked on this video you definitely know who <laughs> Bicycle is as a card company um, and you probably know who Chris Ramsey is. Uh, so this deck is a play on the rider back deck or the rider back design which is the classic bas uh, bicycle <coughs> design and it incorporates however parts of Chris Ramsey's first brand of course like when you look at the boxes the spade is now gone from the box right compared to the spade right here and then there is a gold band that says first in the first brand writing and uh, yeah, so this is a deck that is in collaboration with Bicycle. Um, Chris Ramsey made a bit video about it recently, talking about just the process that 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 they went through. And um, this is the first deck where there's been a collaboration between the Bicycle back design, being like the Rider back deck, and another company or another entity. Uh, prior to this, it was in 1971 with NASA. Uh, so this is a first collaboration since NASA, but when you take a look at the boxes, it comes in both blue and red. I'll do the uh, blue first. When you look at the boxes on the side, it just says the air cushion finish. It says basically what a normal deck does say. Um, poker out the top instead of whatever standard, because there's a standard deck and a rider back deck. On the bottom, it does say first playing card company by Chris Ramsey, and then there's the, the bicycle writing underneath that. But yeah, there's a gold band that goes around and the writing, the first writing is embossed just like so. But when you open the deck, you will see this gold foil on the inside of the box. And you also see the jokers. Uh, this normal, this is the first joker, which is this normal bicycle joker that's black. And the second one is just the first logo. Then there is the Ace of Spades, which isn't a normal bicycle Ace of Spades. However, there is, again, this gold foil first logo. Uh, then the rest of the, the number cards are normal. Actually, the court cards as well. And you'll actually see that basically this whole deck faces are um, normal. And you do get a blank faced card extra four of spades. Uh, Chris Ramsey does this in all of his decks of cards. Uh, four of spades is the actual card that he has tattooed on the inside of his middle finger. And I believe his favorite card. Then when you get to the back design, it's the normal back design except for he has added this bleeding into the borders of the first logo, which when you spread looks like this. as well as when you fan, but I'll now show you the red back, and as I do that, I'm going to just talk about this a little bit, right, so in this, in this, in Chris Ramsey's video, he talked about how it was a back and forth of, right, there's trademarks, as you'll see on the inside of these tuck cases, um, in all bicycle decks, that basically says that the logos and the faces and everything are trademarked, and there's a whole team in charge of keeping that trademarked so it was kind of working with them so they could change the deck but also not change it too much that bicycle as a company was still fine with it um so this is what they came to was just adding their own signature piece to it which of course is their first logo again the blue deck is or the red deck sorry uh is the same <clears throat> but that's kind of what he wanted to do he wanted to keep uh, the face is the same, um, and the back design is this. I will leave a link in the description box for this deck for anyone that wants to get it. I, don't, I, I didn't talk about this, but obviously the handling of these cards is handles like any bicycle deck would. But I'll leave a link in the description for anyone that wants to pick it up, assuming they're still available. But yeah, so these are the first cards by Chris Ramsey and Bicycle. The first collaboration in a while. It's a very cool idea, the, the idea of collaborating with the main 
uh, playing card company, and now there's there's obviously Cardamundi. However, Cardamundi, very little, it's not that well known, uh, but is has now owned by the same people as Bicycle, uh, so they're all bought by, uh, owned by the same people. They are run separately, they're separate entities, um, but they're owned by the same people. But it's a very interesting idea, and, and this uh, Chris Ramsey brings up some questions that I think I'm going to answer in a further video, and those questions are hit, like your why and why you're doing the things, and also with that trusting the process and trusting yourself, right? Because um, some people would argue that he didn't change these decks enough um, for it to be its own deck, but obviously he believed it did, and um, I believe it added something to the deck, and it added one rarity, but also just his name and a, and a whole idea. Um, but it kind of just talked about that a little bit, and uh, I'm going to be talking about that in one of my upcoming videos soon because um, in one of my upcoming videos, you guys will see a design that I designed of a deck. But I also just talk about my relationship with Magic a little bit in that. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm back again, of course, and soon there's going to be a handful more videos coming out uh, in the near future. Not exactly sure when, but those will be coming out very soon. But these are the first playing cards by Bicycle and Chris Ramsey. He was he was once just a magician, and now he is a playing card enthusiast, a, a playing card producer that has now produced cards in collaboration with Bicycle. And this has been my review. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.